Welcome to another top speed record, where we will make the least aerodynamic vehicle in BeamNG go as fast as humanly possible. But with a drag coefficient of a literal brick wall, I honestly don't know what to expect. You see, we've already had to face quite a few challenges during the previous top speed records, from detonating wheels all the way to the vehicle shaking itself apart. But this is the first time where we come face to face with aerodynamics. But that'll become a problem once we're actually going fast, because right now we're driving the base model Garrel T-Series. Now I know you cannot wait for me to spend billions of dollars upgrading this truck until it just won't go any faster, but before that, we have to know where we're starting from. This bad boy pumps out 260 horsepower and 1100 Nm of torque from a straight 6 diesel engine. And that actually sounds pretty good, until remember that it weighs as much as your mum. If she was 100 times heavier. <laughs> Look at that. From your mum jokes to your mum compliments. Anyways, let's see how fast this thing can actually go. Dumping the clutch in 3, 2, 1. What a launch! Man, these gear shifts take four to five business days. What the hell? Come on. 40. 12 seconds later. 60. Yes. Shift. What? We're out of gears? Oh, right. This truck has a low range mode and a high range mode. So if we flick this switch. Haha. <laughs> Look at that. We are still gaining speed, as you can see in the bottom left, with all the nerdy data. 138, come on, 139, can we get to 140? So, it's been 5 minutes. Fuck. That's because the base Gavel T-Series has a very short final drive. So let's change that with our first upgrade, the final drive. And so, we go from 4.62 to 1 to 3.9 to 1, which is not a big jump, but eh, that'll have to do. And already, first gear is much, much longer. That, no, okay, it's still shit. I've just shifted in fifth gear. All right, 139. Smashed it, yes. How fast will it go now? Come on. Can we get to 150? Don't edge me again. Yes! Gentlemen, we are actually zooming at 156 kilometers per hour. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the mud flaps. The question now is, can we get to 160? Or is it gonna edge me again? Come on. Can we get the round number, please? And three minutes later, we're still going. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah! Oh, that feels good. My OCD is finally happy. But now, let's also satisfy my need for speed. And what better way to do that than maxing out the engine, which takes us from 260 horsepower up to 616. Unfortunately, we do also gain about 100 kilograms but honestly, I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. So let's find out. That was the wrong button. Anyways. Oh, much quicker off the line now. Holy sh**, 100 already. And it's still pulling. <laughs> what? 160, come on. Can we get to 169? Oh, f**k, it's stopping off. No. No. 166, we're out of revs. Oh, come on. This is actually sad because we could throw as much power as we wanted to it, but that simply wouldn't matter because what is limiting us right now is the final drive. Now, there won't be a problem anymore once I start messing with the code, but since we're currently trying to find out how fast it can go without modding, we're gonna have to get creative. And so, let's do just that with our third upgrade. <laughs> We have nitrous, which takes us all the way up to 1900 horsepower. Kinda. You see, it will only do those numbers when I'm actually pressing the button. Which ironically, is exactly what we want. Let me show you why. So as you can see launching, nothing changes because I'm not using nitrous. This is the same exact power as we had before. But once we get up to speed, let's engage it now. Ah! Why did it do that? Alright, trying it again. This time, I'm gonna engage it once we reach the previous top speed. Which I don't remember. I think it was here, yeah. Let's do it now. And we have no explosion. Oh, look at that! 200! 210! F*** it edged me again. That was a pretty big gain. And we're just getting started. That's because our fourth upgrade 
is weight reduction, where we go from 7.1 tons down to just 5.9. And now, let's see if it even makes a difference. All right, we're almost at B max. Engage nitrous. Come on. 217 is the speed to beat. And we just beat it. 220. Fuck. We finished nitrous. All those weight savings just to get an extra three kilometers per hour. Are you kidding me? So you know what? For our fifth upgrade, we're going to do something completely different. Shave off even more weight. From the doors and the brakes to the literal exhaust, I've removed everything I could. Apart from the stuff that you'd actually need to drive it. But that's not even the worst part. Look at this. But hey, at least we've saved an extra 600 kilograms. So let's see if it actually makes a difference. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I even doing? All right, nitrous engaged. Oh, look at that, look at that. 229. <laughs> it's actually faster with it dragging around. And now, gentlemen, before modding, let's do one final upgrade. Brain truck. Which means if this goes even faster than the previous one, we will have the official non-modded top speed record. And we're off. Why does it feel slower? What the hell? All right, 160, engaging nitrous. Come on. 229, the speed to beat. And look at that. Look at that. Two. What does it edge me every time? So that was 239. I want to see if we can get 240 now. Nitrous in three, two, one. Come on, boy. Come on. Two. It's even slower now. And so, 239 kilometers per hour is the fastest speed a non-modded T-Series can achieve. But you said we can't mod. And so let me introduce you to our first modded upgrade. The weight reduced version with a much longer final drive, which takes us from 3.9 to 1 to 1.9 to 1. And on paper, that's about double the speed. So let's see what happens. Oh. And you can definitely feel that the gears are longer. Why is it wheel spinning? What the fuck? All right, I've managed to tame it and look at that. 160 kilometers per hour and we're still pulling. Just as a reminder, this truck without the modded final drive did 221 kilometers per hour. And now we're at 206 and we still have nitrous. So let's use it. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> come on, smash the record. 240. 250? No way. 255. That's 150 miles per hour. And we still had one gear left. Which is why I've added more power. And yeah, let's see what it can do. <laughs> Holy sh... <gasps> no, 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 no. Bro, bro, go straight. So we're already having traction issues, which is not good. Okay, need to control the power. And just for reference, the fastest truck in real life did 276 kilometers per hour. So let's see if we can beat it. And by the looks of it, yep, absolutely obliterated that record. And we're still going 300, what the hell? And we still haven't used nitrous. Oh my God, this is gonna be nuts. And engaging nitrous in three, two, one. Holy shit, 345. Have we reached the aerodynamic limit already? Nah, ain't no way, bro. Oh wait, no more revs. And so as it turns out, we're once again limited by gearing. But this time, instead of increasing the final drive, I've decided to increase the RPM. Oh my god. I think I need to let off the throttle a bit. Yeah, man, these turbos. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with it, or it will bite back. So the previous record was 345. Let's see now. Beat it. Almost 400. Man, these exhaust caps have no idea where to stay. There's the exhaust pushing them up, and then there's the wind pushing them down. <laughs> and look at that. 400 kilometers per hour, and we still have one gear and nitrous. All right, shift. 450 kilometers per hour. What the fuck is a Bugatti Chiron? All right, guys, you know what? I'm losing my patience. It is time for nitrous. Oh, shit. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah. All right, we said shit, shit, shit. All right, this is the last test. I'm using little bursts of nitrous, and it seems to be working. 
Alright, full on the nitrous now. I think we're running out of power. Look at that. 480 kilometers per hour. Guys, we're nearing 500. What the hell is this? 5,000 horsepower just won't cut it. <coughs> now, I know it unironically sounds like a vacuum cleaner, but come on, it has 12,000 horsepower. I am honestly scared to launch it. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. A few moments later. Oh, okay. All right, fifth gear, the speed to beat is, what, 480? Shit, we're back to speed, come on. Can we get to 500? Oh yes, oh yes. 500 kilometers per hour, gentlemen. Still gaining, still, oh, shit. What? I'm 100% sure that power isn't a problem, whereas I'm not so sure about putting that power to the ground. Which is why I've added two extra wheels. Now, I still don't know if this will work, but that's the whole reason why we're here. So let's see. What? Nah, 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 bro. That was weird, but anyways, we are off. And we have much less wheel spin. Alright, fifth gear. Let's see. Oh man, this pulls so much easier. So we broke traction at this speed earlier and we're still going fine. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna ease on the throttle now. No, 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 Keep it, keep it. Can we get to 600? This is a big question. Oh my god. It's still going, guys. 640, it's making tire noises. Also, look at how much they've expanded. <laughs> oh, guys, yeah, it's losing it, it's losing it. Shit. And so, gentlemen, 640 kilometers per hour is the limit. This thing just can't put the power down. But what if it had a massive wing behind it? Leave a like if you want to find out. But now, there's one last thing we still haven't tried. Can this truck frame beat a supercar frame? Almost two years ago, I reached 700 kilometers per hour with a Civetta Scintilla. And to this day, it's still my personal best. But with our last run hitting 640 kilometers per hour, I think this one actually has a chance. Oh! Oh, I broke the synchros. All right, nice and easy this time. Maybe that's a little too much. All right, fifth gear, let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Look at how fast this thing pulls. Nah, bro, this is crazy. Without the cam breaking us, this is a literal rocket. <laughs> Look at that. 600. Can we get to seven? Oh, no, 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 no. Can we get to 640? Obviously, yes. Look at that. All right, guys, let's head for 700. Holy shit. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on! Yes! <laughs> Look at that! It's still going! 720? Holy shit! Oh, it's topping off. It is topping off. No! No! It's stuck. 